Hey, welcome to Cody the Card Guy. So today we're in the shop and I decided to do a little bit of experimenting uh, what products actually remove water the best from your fuel tanks. So we've got a couple products in here. One of them, of course, is seafoam. Well, seafoam is pretty good stuff. I've used it a few times on some of my own things and works pretty good. Then you have also heat. So this is supposed to remove you know the water out of your tank and everything. Um, and then there's a surprise thing that can actually work really good. Yeah, simple alcohol. So, which one works the best? Now, technically, to remove it, you can drop the tank, go through all that work. But let's find out which product you can pour in there and it actually works. So, I came up with a little experiment. Let's see what we got. All right, so as you see, I have some glass jars. What we're going to do is we have alcohol on the one, heat on the other, and sea foam. So, that way we can do it. We're going to go ahead and each one of these jars pretty much has lines in there. So we're going to put water all the way up to each line in each jar. Then we're going to put in the middle section will be gas. And we'll use the top section for each product. And it should kind of act like a gas tank because you're only going to have a little bit of water in your gas tank. You're going to have a lot of gas in there. And by mixing it up, you know, a lot of these products like this one to say per 20 gallons. Um, I believe this one's about the same. This one, one pint. Um, treats 8 to 25 gallons so to kind of work about the same alcohol they don't really have anything because it's technically not made for automotive but is it we will see so I'm gonna go ahead and fill these up and uh, let's get started now as you can see each one of them is filled up right to the bottom line of the glass jars so they're all identical so the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is pour some gas in there we're going to also fill this up right up to the same exact mark on the bottom of the glass. Okay. Okay, I went back through and made sure I got each one of these equal. So I'm just going to show you what one of them looks like. Actually, I'll show you each one of them looks like. As you can see, the water is in there. See, moving around the bottom. And when you shake it up, all it does it just takes a second, and it pretty much automatically separates. Goes right back down. So each one of them, as you can see, the water on the bottom. Now, let's go ahead and add some product in there. Let's see what we've got. We'll fill right to the neck so that way we can uh, have a little bit of room to stir it and to shake it. See film in this bad boy. Now the alcohol, when you go to like a little um, CVS or Family Dollar or any of those kind of stores, you're talking about it's about I think it's like fifty cents or something. The heat costs about three dollars and nine cents, and of course the sea foam costs like ten bucks. All right, so now each one of them's filled up to the neck. Now, one of the things I was going to do, since you can't really shake up a gas tank in your car, I figure we'll just stir it with a stick and kind of see if it starts breaking up a little bit. Since that's about the action you get, you get fuel injection uh, with the return system. It's going to stir in there a little bit.
And what you really want to kind of see is it breaking down instead of being like a film layer at the bottom where water separate. You kind of want to see it break into little uh, beads. That way you'll see it's kind of uh, burnable. Or actually just kind of mix it all together. But that ain't going to happen. Alright, let's see up close what we've got. This one's with the sea foam. And you can pretty much see the water down below. Alright. This one is with the heat. And you can still see the water down below, but it's also made a big change in color. Alright. And then we have the rubbing alcohol. Now the rubbing alcohol, I'll be honest with you, it looks like it's completely changed and went down there with the water. Alright, we're outside so we can get a little bit more light on this right here. So this is the seafoam and it really hasn't done much of anything. Like I said, again, this is not really something that they consider a water removal. But if you go into an auto parts store, a lot of times they will sell you seafoam and say, oh yeah, it's kind of like a miracle cures all. Um, but I'm going to tell you right now, I didn't really see anything within literally a few seconds later. It's already back down the bottom. It does break it up to a bunch of little beads, but it's right back instantly. So you'd literally have to be going down the road like this, you know. But that's not going to happen. So, you know, I mean, you go ahead a couple bumps back and forth. But even if you go back and forth, you can still see it comes back down. So it's not anything I would recommend for water removal. Trying to clean your fuel injectors? Absolutely. Sea foam, I would put in there. Um, trying to clean out your motor a little bit, um, I'd put it in there uh, as well. So let's move on to the next one. Heat. One of the things, heat and alcohol, I noticed that it raised up the level that started out down here at the bottom and it made the level come up some. So when you shake this one up, it literally, you see nothing. It, there's no little molecules rolling around, little beaded up stuff. But then at the top, you can start to see it breaks down pretty good. It's, you can see it's done something. So now it's coming back. And you can almost pretty much watch it roll back down as it goes. So, like I said, I just shook this up again. And uh, I mean, it literally, it breaks it down enough that I, I promise you this will actually burn through your system. Uh, might take a little while, but because you're not going to shake your tank up like that, so you're going to get, you know, like a sloshing action going on. And when you do that, it's actually breaking it down and keeping it enough that you can suck it through your fuel injection system and burn it. Um, if water comes through your system as just water, it's not going to do anything. The car's not going to start, not going to run. If it comes through water mixed with a product, gas, it's going to at least burn. Not perfectly, but it'll get it out of your system. Now, for the rubbing alcohol, it pretty much does the same thing. I mean, you can literally see it's broken down. And almost like on the other one, you can see up here the lip. It's kind of like got a little violent little action going in of chemical reaction down there. You see it breaking back down. So you can see it breaks it down as well. Um, it's hard to show on the camera, but there's actually like little teeny beads down here. And it's, it's pretty broken up. It actually will, a lot of times you can see, like right here, you can see water running down off the glass. So it beads it up. When it's a small bead form like that where it's rolling off, that's actually something that can make it through your fuel injection, through your carburetor, and get cleaned out. Um, now, nothing beats, you know, dropping the tank or cleaning out a carburetor if it's got water in it. But, you know, on a product that you can just pour in, um, I'll tell you what, I would definitely. I always pour the rubbing alcohol on mine if I suspect I have water in my tank because uh, it breaks it down and gets it gone. I used to have a big diesel truck that I drove all the time and wasn't uncommon every once in a while I get some water in the tank. So I dumped a little bit of alcohol in there and took care of my problem. So you can see where it's broken down right here. Tons of little bead particles in there. It's like just, just all broken apart. Then it starts coming apart at the bottom. So like I said, if you're driving around, Either one of these two products right here will absolutely remove the water out of your system. 
they do it broken down just enough there's not really a product you can just pour in there and it just dissolves the water completely gone that's not going to happen but these two right here will break it up enough to get it through your fuel injection system or through your carburetors and um i hope that helps you guys i'll catch you on the next one on 59 videos oh.